about you being gone Is I can watch the game all day long And I can stretch my legs out in the bed Extra pillow underneath my head I Don't know why nobody ever told me About the upside lonely I got a lot more room for my stuff And I only have to wash one cup I can stay up late and play my guitar And the groceries go twice as far I don't know why nobody ever told me About the upside lonely Your girlfriends ain't ringing the phone off the wall I never have to hear from that mother-in-law Ain't cut the grass since the middle of June I smoke a big cigar up in my living room Don't know why nobody ever told me About the upside lonely
you, just me. Let's find a cozy spot to cuddle the world. Just us, just we. I've missed an awful lot. My trouble is you. Well, gee, what are your charms for? What are my arms for? Use your imagination. Just you, just me. I'll tie a lover's knot. I've missed an awful lot. I'll tie a lover's knot. One wonderful you. Facebook Live show, live here from our studios in Rancho Mirage, California. And today, of course, it is cigars, guitars, and jazz. And our cigar for the day is courtesy of a pal of mine, Andrew, up in Seattle, Washington, who sent me a lovely box of Davidoff Anniversario Number no. Threes, which is one of my favorite cigars, especially when they're for free. So thank you, Andrew. And, uh, we have all sorts of sponsors going on this uh, week. Not only do we have uh, Davidoff, we're also drinking, uh, in between cuts, uh, a little red wine. And the red wine, mmm, yummy. This red wine is from our pal, Ted Hall, and it's up at Long Mill Ranch. And this is his Farmstead Cab, and it is fantastic. I suggest you go online and buy two, three, four cases while there's still some left, because as soon as I can, I'm buying more. Uh, you also have a Chardonnay, I was gonna show you that, but Masoli and I drank through that already, so um, say la vie. Those are a couple of our sponsors for the night. And what else do we have to talk about? Well, uh, we have uh, a new CD that's out, of course, and maybe we can show a, little, a picture of our, our new CD. It is, uh, there it is, the Brian Nova Collective, and it is a wonderful CD. We just uh, released it about two weeks ago, and as you can see, it's it's really uh, four piano players, a saxophonist, and one guitar player with the rhythm section. So it's um, it's an amazing record, actually. We've got some great stuff, uh, great songs written by some really good pals of ours, like uh, Alan Anderson and Gary Nicholson and Dylan O'Brien as well. So I uh, hope you'll check it out. It's for sale at briannova.com. And um, we've also got another little proud idea I've been talking about a little bit. There's another CD that just came out that I'm on, uh, and also one of our guests is on as well, the LL100 Apollo, Live at the Apollo. It was a fantastic a concert that featured Patty Austin, David Allen Greer, and many others, Liz Wright, Lettucey, and Monica Mancini. In fact, Monica and I do a nice duet. And uh, the Ella Quartet is myself, Greg Field, who also produced it, and uh, Nathan East was on bass, and our guest later on here, the great Shelly Berg, is on that as well. So, uh, a lot of great stuff. Make sure you check that out. That just came out live from Concord Records. I'm going to do another song here for you. I'll play one for you so I can sort of smoke my cigar. We're still indoors right now, folks. We're hoping to take this outside, or actually this is some cigar clubs maybe in the future when, when uh, the governors will allow us to go out and do that. And speaking of cigar clubs, I want to take a big shout out to Washington State, to two of my favorite places, the Vertigo Club up in Seattle. How you guys doing up there? And also the Churchill Room over on the east side, Kirkland. I'm glad you guys are all tuned in. It's great to have you here. And I hope you guys are smoking up a storm. You'll have to smoke for me virtually. So, whoops. This next song is a beautiful tune written by George and his lovely wife, Ira Gershwin. Old man and sunshine, look at you. Don't you tell me dreams come true, don't try it Or I'll start a riot Beatrice Fairfax, don't you dare Ever tell me that she will care I'm certain it's the final curtain I never want to hear from any cheerful Pollyannas Who 
hotels you fake supplies are made they're probably from Montana they're writing songs of love but not from me I am here a lucky stars above but maybe not for me with love to lead the way found more clouds of gray than any Russian play could guarantee. I was a fool to fall and get that way. Hi, oh, alas, and also, baby, let a day. She's not for me. songs of love but baby not for me of lucky stars above but baby not for me with love to lead the way I found more cloud above my mouths of gray than any Russian play could guarantee Like a day, although I can't dismiss the memory of a kiss. I guess she's not, I guess she's not for me. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. Not for me. Well, that was all the Kurt Only licks I could ever come up with right there. I just tried to throw them out there as best I could. Anyway, that was a wonderful tune called But Not For Me. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. Well, listen, we've got a couple things to cover really quick. Uh, you know, down here in Rancho Mirage, but Sony and I are so busy doing all the technical stuff that we haven't had a chance to really cover much of the local news. So we've turned it over to our dog, Ellington. Ellington is now our ace reporter covering sports. And we have a brand new sports report here from Ellington. And it goes like this. In baseball, the Seattle Mariners have not lost a game all season. And also, the Los Angeles Dodgers haven't won a game yet. That's the news in baseball for right now. I hope that uh, we'll have some more updates as we go. Depends on uh, what our ace reporter Ellington has in store for us. So right now, I'd like to talk about our next guest, our very featured guest. This man is incredible. I'm gonna talk a little bit about him. He's a Grammy Award winner and he has secured his place among the foremost jazz vocalists. 
Declared by the, he was declared the standout male vocalist of our time. By the New York Times, Ellen has garnered an unprecedented accolades, including a 14-year run atop the Downbeat Critics Poll, 12 Grammy nominations, eight Jazz Journalist Association Awards for Male Singer of the Year. Up till about two months ago, he was touring about 200 dates a year, and yet he considers himself just another man walking in the streets of New York City. Mm -mm -mm. His new release, Secrets Are the Best Stories, in fact, maybe we got a little shot of that right there. He's got a brand new CD out here, Secrets Are the Best Stories. There it is there, what a pretty cover that is. That is a cover of him. It's his new work, and it's a collaboration with Panamanian pianist and composer Danilo Perez. Ellington's original lyrics are paired with several tunes penned by Perez, and a new feature of just the two of them reflecting their intimate and creative communication. I'd like to bring to us right now, live from New York City, the one and only, the great Kurt Ellington. Kurt, are you there? Hello. I am so Hey, here. I can hear you. you there? I am here. We have a problem. I am here. It's showing me again. Uh oh. There am it is. Am I audio only? We'll work on that. Wait, well, there if, I if, am. If that's yeah. so, it's the best Sorry I've ever looked. That. Dude, you look great. Where is the Skype? Uh, just there hit I the interviews, Ernie. There I you go. Oh, look at that. She got the hit media. Hit it. Oh. Hit it. Hit it. No, it's not showing you. That's all right. Let's just shook it in for a minute. How are you doing, Daniel? Pops, I'm hanging in here, you know? Yeah. Uh, How are things New in New York? City? It's all, it's, it's all a scene, man. I step out into it. Uh, it's it's a little bit more deserted than usual, significantly more deserted than usual. It would be a good time to have a motorcycle and drive through town because the only thing that would slow you down would be stoplights. <laughs> hey, listen, I got to ask you a question before I get this uh, thing figured out. Last week on your Facebook Live, you mentioned the fact that you might be leaving New York City. Is that true? It is true. Um, my daughter has a spot at the Arts Academy in Chicago, and at the same time, you know, the grandparents are getting to be, uh, you know, they're enjoying their lives, and they're super healthy, and we want to enjoy our time with them. I came to New York to meet a bunch of folks, and to play with some people, and to find some sacred spaces for myself, and get some memories, and have some adventures, and at least for the moment... Uh, I've had those adventures, and now it's time to think of a family. We also adopted uh, a little man. Uh, oh, yeah. he, he came to us when he was six days old, and we were foster parents to him for uh, a good amount of time, and we were able to adopt him over the summer. And, uh, you know, we had a handful of little foster people before then, but this guy really came to us on purpose. And, you know, I feel like maybe that's the real reason we came to New York was to get our son and to uh, make my daughter as chic and as uh, worldly as she is and intelligent and fabulous. She's following after her mother, of course. Yeah. Who's all of those things in spades. I'm merely a guy who sometimes talks on the radio or online or makes a record. And then I leave town again, usually. So Jennifer nice. can give all the credit for everything. <laughs> I love it. Dude, we're getting, we're getting real close here to getting both of us on the screen at the same time. Can you believe it? Well, you know, man, I want to I wanna do a virtual smooch with you. So you can't. Dude. Oh, you got me in three different places, man. We're, we're doing this right now. Nice. Look at that. Look at that background. In real time. Ooh, look at that. Looks like Randall Mirage right there. Randall. There it is. Dude, we're coming on live right now, dude. Definitely the Mirage part of Rancho Mirage. The Mirage part. I don't want that one. I want that one. And I want that one. There it is. We're back together. We're smooching. Okay. <laughs> I feel smooching. Hey, I keep you know, seeing your darling here on the other screen. I know. I'd, I'd rather look life. at her, too. I get it. I understand. <laughs> so tell, me, tell us more about the new CD. The new CD. Uh... Yeah. It's selling about as well as any jazz CD out there these days, which means uh, my my aunt Rebecca has one uh, that I gave her, and uh, 
that's about the that's about the full the full distribution right there. Well, um, God bless Aunt Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, we worked real hard on it. It's not a, a crowd pleasing record. It's not a uh, dance record, you know, we, uh, Danilo and I were really interested in exploring some heavier themes and going down the road uh, to find out what what we could excavate from our souls. And, mm. uh, you know, what came out was a lot of concern for the world, a lot of concern for migrants, a lot of concern for the way justice is not being served, uh, a lot of concern for the way ghosts of past sins continue to visit our nation and mm. uh, our lives individually and um, you know obviously some hopeful things in there as well but uh, you know there's a lot of stuff in the air and I feel like sometimes it's our job to help people feel better and sometimes it's our job to explore things a, a little bit more compassionately and a little bit more deeply man well, I love it. Everything I've heard is fantastic. And Thank speaking you. of fantastic, I hope you can hang with us for a minute. I'd like to play, uh, play a cut of you and Shelley. And it, I think it's one of the most beautiful renditions I've heard of this song. Can you hang for a little bit? I'm with you, Pops. All right, so we're gonna play a cut uh, that um, Kurt and Shelley put together. Shelley Burr, who will be with us after this, and uh, and we'll talk more about Shelly, but right now I want you to check out Kurt. And now the purple dust of twilight time steals across the meadows of my heart. High up in the sky, the little stars climb, always reminding me that we're apart. You wander down the lane and far away, leaving me a song that will not die. has become a melody of yesterday the music of the years gone by and now I wonder why I spend each lonely my reverie and I am once again with you when our love was new each kiss had inspiration but that was long long ago and now my console is you the stardust of a song beside a garden wall when stars are bright and you are in my arms the nightingale tells her Where roses bloom Though I dream in vain Always in my heart It will remain My stardust melody The memory of love's refrain
garden wall Stars are bright And you are in my arms The nightingale Tells her fairy tale Of paradise Where roses bloom Though I dream in vain Always in my heart Stardust melody, the memory of love's Holy moly, that was fantastic. Wow. Wow. Are you there? As always, I'm good in short doses. <laughs> well, good, good, because we have another dose of you here in just a minute. Hey, tell us more about, uh, you've got a Facebook Live. Kurt's on every uh, Friday, 5.30 Pacific Standard Time, right? Uh, uh, I have a Facebook Live thing that is called the Cocktail Hour, and it hits at 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Mm. Five. That'd be three for us. Well, it's a good time to start drinking on a Friday when sure. you're all enclosed and uh, ready to, I don't even know what, to start drinking or continue drinking if that's, <laughs> if that's your habit. Uh, yeah. I, I, I try to hold off until the cocktail hour, but when I do, then I tend to go for it. And we've, had some, lovely, we've had some lovely guests. We've had, we've had you mm. uh, play a, 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 a beautiful uh, 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 a ballad with me, which I'm very grateful for. We're going to have you on, and we're going to do a little bit of talking and some schmooze of eating. Ooh, uh, I love we, it. Had a, we had a John Pizzarelli on. We had a, uh, a Charlie Hunter on. We're oh, going to yeah. have Sheila, Sheila Jordan this weekend. Get out of here, Sheila Jordan. Jordan. She's going to be astonishing. I've got my questions here that I'm working through. Uh, and uh, this week, I think the drink of choice is going to be a vodka tonic. Mm. Have you on the vodka, I hope. Uh, the, the company that's sponsoring me sent me 15 bottles of vodka. Oh my goodness, bless her heart. I think I'm covered for the summer. <laughs> You're at least covered to to, uh, to June, right? That's right. That'll get you through May, through June. Hey, I want to play one more piece here. Kurt and I did a, a kind of a cute little fast uh, wingy dingy thing here called Four. Give it a listen. All right. Some wise words from John Hendricks. The wonderful things that you get out of life there are four And there may not be many but nobody needs any more Of the many facts making the legs to life Truth takes the lead And to relax know with the gist of life It's truth you need And the second is honor and happiness makes number three When you put them together you know what the last one must be People so the truth, honor and happiness And one thing more The only wonderful, wonderful love that'll make it for Don't you know the score? Well, people when they're younger Never realize the pleasure, treasure life's got But as they grow older Realize a lot They got the mind that know the wrong it seems And things that cost a lot of money But it's really very funny They fade away and don't them up to hit a beans. Funny how the things in life we really should adore. We forget or ignore. And a four. 
They can money till you're nigh on two mad days and end up in sadness. Youth is the time when we should see the light. Cause when we're old and wasted, we refuse to taste it. Run so kind, then we faintly and die. Then we know the youth that made us strong is wasted on the young. So enjoy your daily love life and live it gaily, you'll find. A lot of things to bring you joy and give peace of mind. Get it well, the kitten's good. Cause everybody, if they only could, life would be a set. Life would be a groovy set. Groovy as a movie. Well, well, let your voice be heard. Spread the word. Everybody here's got ears. All they gotta do is try to use them, not abuse them. So take a tip from me. The world's everything it ought to be. As long as you can be sure that there's no more to life than the same old four. Just four. Vendetta, I always say. <laughs> so, dude, moving to dude. Chicago, you're going to have a ticker yeah. tape parade when you get over there. They're going to love you. Going. Well, you know, man, only if they open the city up again, Dad. Dude, they're going to give you the key. You might be the guy to open that city. Only if the time, only if the scientists say, Dad, I am not one to go against science. Amen. Man, let the let the smartest guy in the room say what the ha what's happening. Mm. That's that's not going to be me anytime soon. <laughs> Good man knows his limitations. That's right. That's right. That's right. Have you guys uh, picked out a place you're going to live? What part of town you're going to live in when you get to Chicago? We have we we're just we're still on the search. It's a, it's a crazy time, you know. Uh, I can't fly to Chicago to look at a spot. Sounds um, like a the song. Realtors, the realtors can't take me around. People wouldn't want to see me in their place, um, you know. And there are some people who are even freakish enough to think that they can, uh, you know, sell or rent a place without even having a right. a, a video walkthrough. So you know. I think we're going to just tread lightly for the first several months and see how the market does. Um, maybe do some Airbnb kind of a vibe and just make it work that way until we until we figure out which way the wind is blowing. <clears throat> I hear you. Although if you decided to go someplace, I hear Florida has everything wide open. You can just walk in and check it out. And you know, you want to do whatever you want. Uh, sure. <laughs> Do we want to go down this road? <laughs> hey, did I tell you that our sponsor today is Long Metal Ranch Cabernet? I'm prepared to go down any road right now. See, that's the news. Send some of that over, and a couple hey. of them, some of some of them cigars too, Dad. Dude, it's on the way. Trust me. Just keep your eye on the mail, and and who knows, Santa might just have a little present for you. Brother Kurt, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, everybody, make sure you check out his Facebook Live, which is 3 o'clock cocktail hour, 6 o'clock cocktail hour on the East Coast uh, on Friday night. And Sheila Jordan's with you, right? 
Sheila Jordan this week. It's going to be Unbelievable. awesome. Unbelievable. Kurt, thank you so much. Thank you, Brian. Thanks Man. for having me, Pops. All right, baby. Talk to you soon. Yeah. All right. Well, how do you follow something like that? If I knew how to play a cowboy tune, I would for you, but I don't. So, uh, I mean, I do, but I don't have one ready for you. So, I'm just going to play... Actually, I'm not going to play. That was just kind of a little teaser. What I'd like to do right now is you got to hear him play, and I'm sure most of you knew who that pianist was with Kurt. That was my dear, dear pal, Kurtz as well, the great, great Shelly Burt. And I took his nine-page bio and I kind of condensed it down a little bit. But Shelly's a, a Steinway piano artist and multi-Grammy-nominated arranger and producer. His latest album, Gershwin Reimagined, an American in London with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra is conducted by Jose Sarah Breyer and produced by our pal Greg Field. That's with three G's and no S. Shelley Berg is the Dean of the Frost Music of School, School of Music at the University of Miami, a position he has held since June of 2007. In addition to his leadership role as Dean, he is also a professor of music and teaches classical improvisation classes and private piano students. Those are some lucky kids, folks, let me tell you. Shelley is one of the best pianists I know on the planet. He previously held the McCoy Sample Endowed Professorship at Jazz Studies at Thornton School of Music at USC. He was there for over 16 years. He has been the International Associate for Jazz Education, was named 2003 Educator of the Year by Los Angeles Jazz Society, and he also got rated by the Los Angeles Time, named him one of the three top educators of the millennium. He is, as far as I'm concerned, the best jazz educator on the planet today. And uh, he tours all over the world, and I'm just so blessed and lucky that I can call him my friend, and even more blessed and lucky that I get a chance to play with him every once in a while. So, uh, <clears throat> Shelly and I, over the years, we've been playing this wonderful little piece. It was a tune that was arranged by the great Nat King Cole and his trio back in the day. And uh, Shelly and I, and uh, usually Mr. Terry Miller would be playing bass on this. But we decided to give it a shot as a duet. So uh, here is Shelly and I doing our best to bring you Nat King Cole's version of Sweet Georgia Brown.
Shelly Berg, ladies and gentlemen, Shelly Berg. Shelly, thank you so much. Uh, we're going to get Shelly on here as an interviewer in the next couple weeks and uh, pick his brain some more, and maybe he and I'll even have another uh, tune set up for you by then. He is just an amazing player and a great guy, one of my dearest pals. So uh, this next song I'd like to do for you right now is a tune off of our new CD. Uh, it was written by my pal Gary Nicholson. And uh, it's a really beautiful tune. CD, and we show a little picture of our last CD there, and uh, from the Brian Nova Collective that featured uh, Tom Scott, Lawrence Hopgood, Shelly Bird, Larry Dunlap, Dylan O'Brien, Terry Miller, and uh, Andy Fraga Jr. Yes, 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 yes. So next week, we're going to have some very special guests. I'd like to tell you who they are, but uh, that would just spoil it for you right now, I think. So I'm going to keep it kind of a little secret. 
Once again, our uh, cigars out there, to all our fellow cigar pals out there, I hope you're smoking. I'm going to light this up as soon as we're done here. And a big hand out to, of course, Benedetto Guitars and to Long Middle Ranch. My bro, Ted Hall over there, making and growing some of the best wine in the country. So we're going to close up this uh, week with, uh, I thought it'd be kind of nice to, to uh, have a, um, a little Hawaiian music. You know, I'm part Hawaiian and it's a big part of uh, who I am and what I do. And uh, I always think that um, what's better than playing a little Hawaiian music uh, to close out the show. So this guitar, a little talk about it. This guitar was my dad's guitar. He bought it in 1952. It's a 1952 Martin D28. And it's taken some detours in its day. It went over to my uncle's hands. And uh, inevitably, it ended up back in my hands a few years back, and I just love it. It's uh, one of the best sounding guitars uh, I've ever had the opportunity to play. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna close out tonight with a beautiful Hawaiian slack key version of a song, uh, one of my favorites, it's called Maori Brown Eye.
I want to thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules and joining us tonight. And how about a big hand, of course, for Masoni, who has been put this whole thing together for us without her. I would just be standing in front of my cell phone wondering what number to dial. And uh, of course, our ace reporter, Ellington, who is doing all of our uh, sports reporting for us right now during the pandemic. I hope all you guys are, um, are staying well. I hope you're staying safe. And uh, remember to uh, be kind to each other and be kind to everybody around you because uh, we only get one time around this on this ride and let's make the best of it. Anyway, hope you guys are well and we will see you next week. Take care.